So I'm not gonna lie. When when it first came, I was telling my homeboy, man, I'm super excited that winter is seems like it's gonna be a little bit cool this year because I'm ready to throw on my coats, you know, wear my nice little beaver fur hat, you know what I mean? Have my layers on, show my different rich deep colors. Now six, seven months later, I'm ready for the spring and the summer. Like I'm ready for my spring and summer hats. And that's because spring and summer hats have a different inflection when it comes to your image. They actually speak to something a lot different when you are stepping out in style. And they're a much more versatile type of piece that you can actually wear for business or for pleasure. So today, I'm going to be telling you about the three types of hats that you should know about for spring and summer. What's up, all you good fella fly guys? You know who it is, the cat in the hatch, your resident fly guy, your chief architect, Michael Angel of StarArchitects.com, here to help you redesign your frame of mind when it comes to this lifestyle thing. And today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects. If you've been rocking with me for a little while, then you know that I love hats. Hell, I'm called the cat in the hat for a reason. And we're going to be talking about three hat styles that you should know for the spring and the summer. So by the end of this conversation, you're not only going to know what hat to buy, but you'll also know what it's going to express when you have it on so if this is your first time here welcome you know, it's a great time for you to be here especially if you're looking to get in this hat game that a lot of people are starting to jump on better for you to make a smart investment and find the right hat for you than wasting your time trying to buy a whole bunch of hats right when you could just get the wear out of one that you really love. So if you don't know anything about me, I am a lifestyle coach. My goal is to help make sure that you are not only showing up in style, but it is a reflection of your life and the expression that you want to convey so that you're always showing up confidently in any given situation. So if you find the information beneficial, please consider subscribing. I would love to be a character in your lifestyle story. And if you have already subscribed, Joshua Harris or Young Harm, then you know I appreciate you and now all you have is one more thing left to do and that is hit that notification bell and that way you will be notified each and every time new content comes out so this is gonna be a relatively quick video because a lot of the hats that I'm going to talk about you are going to see similarities when we start talking about fall and winter hats the difference primarily is going to be the type of materials that are going to be used when we're talking about the hats that we're going to normally put on they're generally going to be made out of paper or straw now if you're gonna have a paper hat um, then paper is going to respond just like paper so if it gets wet or if you sweat a lot then you're gonna have some issues with that hat so I would automatically tell you to move towards the area of just investing in some straw now with straw you are going to pay a little bit more money or maybe a lot more money but the quality that you will receive and the ability to keep this hat for a long time will be there. So the first hat that you should know about is the Panama hat. Now the Panama hat is actually not made in Panama, it's made in Ecuador. The hats are actually made from fibers from the Paja Tocaria, I hope I said that right, palm tree leaves. And so the way that they actually weave these, and we're going to go into uh, more depth uh, in a future video actually creates a ventilated space while still maintaining um, the shape. Now these can come in several different uh, types of crowns as well as brims but they're generally going to be a bleached white type of color and because of this this is generally going to speak to something a little bit more casual a little bit more relaxed when you are wearing it and that's why you often see Panama hats associated with the beach or cruises or vacations of some sort because they have a much more relaxed character to their expression the next hat that you should know about is the straw fedora now again a fedora can be found in felts or with a beaver fur or different other types of materials uh, and the fedora is actually going to be the shape of the hat and we'll actually be talking about the characteristics of a fedora in a future video but for this case you need to know that a fedora is going to be similar to this one and the reason why I love the straw fedora is because it's a really versatile piece that you can have 
With straw fedoras, you can wear this to the office and then wear it afterwards if you want to take your jacket off and just be in a button down shirt and some jeans. And it's still going to reflect two very different types of personalities. If you have it on with your suit, then it does speak to a little bit more formality. If you are wearing it with something more casual, it actually just reinforces the casual nature. Now, depending on the style of that straw fedora, the width and the height of the crown, then that can actually speak to more casualness or more formality in that space. But if you stay pretty much in this space where I am right here, then you actually will have a great base for uh, either type of situation that you need to be in. And for that case, I would tell you to make a slightly higher investment in the straw fedora. Now the last hat that you could throw on is the straw boulder, the can can, the skimmer, the Katie, all these different types of names that they've given for the boulder hat. And we're gonna talk more about the history and why the boulder has that name um, in a future video. But what you need to know right now is that the boulder is often associated now with barbershop quartets. So that's what you would see with the guys in the striped vest and that wide brim uh, flat top hat that almost looks like a pork pie hat. Um, but in the past, these have actually been associated with very formal um, types of events. These boulders were often worn at black tie affairs. So it does have a certain level of formality. I will say that a straw boulder is definitely not going to be for everybody. There are some certain people who pull it off. Andre 3000 has. DJ Cassidy does a great job of pulling it off in both casual and formal settings. Um, but it is going to be a hat that you have to wear confidently, right? And that's what we've been talking all about this week. So definitely go into a hat shop, try on a boulder, see if it works for you. And if it does, just make sure that you're wearing it with confidence despite any criticisms that you may receive. So that is it. Those are the three hats that you should really know about when it comes to spring and summer and what they're going to express as well as how to wear them. So give me this answer to the question of the day. Out of those hats, which one do you think would best reflect your life and your style? I know that you may like one type of hat, but you may find that one other one is going to be more beneficial. Now leave me those comments in the comment box so that we can have a chat, interact, or if you have any questions about these three th hats that I may have uh, asked, leave those in the comment box as well and I'll be happy to answer them quickly. Uh, anybody who's asked a question knows that I do. Outside of that, go ahead and give this a thumbs up if you found the information beneficial. Go ahead and share this with a friend. You never know who may need some advice on which hat to start checking out for the summer. And lastly, don't ever forget that dress is nothing more than the expression of a man's state of mind. So you, yes you, should always dress to express. I'll see you next time. Peace.